The National Natural Landmarks Program was established in 1962 and it's administered by the National Park Service. This program identifies and recognizes sites that contain some of the best examples of biological and geological features in our country. A unique feature of the National Natural Landmarks designation is that it occurs on lands of any ownership, so both public and private. Landmark sites are owned by private organizations and individuals, state agencies, um, federal, county, tribal. There are currently 599 NNL sites across the country, and just over 20 of them occur within units of the National Park System. So the bulk of these sites are owned by other individuals or organizations. Partnerships forms a really big piece of, of this program and the designation. Through our partnership, we have access to some great educational resources, and, um, and who doesn't need <laughs> uh, some additional help from their friends. Oftentimes people wonder whether they can visit National Natural Landmark sites and there are a whole bunch of sites that are open to the public um, and visitation is welcome. However, there are sites that are entirely privately owned and, and visitation is not something that they are interested in. So it's important to be sure to check ahead of time to look at a, a site and see if it is open to the public. National Natural Landmark Sites are designated uh, by the Secretary of the Interior after thorough scientific evaluation. Designation provides recognition for a site, but what that does is, is it can help increase awareness. It helps make people aware of the fact that these sites exist and that these, these unique and significant resources are present at these sites. We do have people come here specifically to see the site because they've heard of it uh, being a national natural landmark. It reminds us that uh, we have a responsibility to take care of the site and that it is an important site in the history of life. It points out that this is a very special spot. I think it is beneficial you know, both to the people who live here locally and it's uh, beneficial to the people of America. The Park Service does not dictate management to landowners. What designation does do is it provides an opportunity for the National Park Service to partner with all of these various landowners to encourage and where possible and, and where interest is with the landowners, we can actually then provide various types of support for conservation. Conservation at these sites occurs because of the, the voluntary efforts of these various landowners. We're standing in the Charles C. Steerly National Natural Landmark. It was the core conservation piece that we were able to build the rest of the natural area preserve around. So the, the national landmark designation was kind of the seed for the pearl that grew out of it. National natural landmark sites represent the broad diversity of natural features across the country. And each site tells a, a small piece of the story of the, the natural history or the heritage of our country. When looked at all together, it describes the, the great tapestry of natural features that are in our beautiful country. Mm -hmm.